With the Orioles' season on the line, they headed into Texas to play the Rangers, and Dean Kremer gives up an absolute bomb to the second hitter he faces, Corey Seager. Absolutely barrels that one up and deposits it in the stands. Seager's been hot. He won his World Series MVP in that very stadium in the 2020 season, and he is rolling. Seager has been great for them this playoffs as we head to the bottom of the second where the Rangers were threatening again as Seager gets on base yet again with how money he's been this playoffs and Mitch Garver steps up to the plate and he takes an absolute hack to knock in two runs with honestly one of the better swings I've seen all postseason stays inside on that. Here's the umpire cam and he just rips it down the line for a double which would bring up Adolis Garcia, the bad man who's been getting all kinds of RBIs. Garver obviously super hyped after that, family super hyped. Everyone's going nuts in the stands, but up steps Adolis Garcia. A home run here would put the series away essentially, and only one better thing to do, and it's hit that home run, make it a 6-0 to zero ball game. Dean Kramer with an absolute blow-up outing in this one as Adolis Garcia grabs that and sends it deep into the stands. Absolutely poked, sends it 410 plus. And, I mean, it was smoked. He pimped it. He, You love to see it for Adolis Garcia. I mean, that is a big swing and a big moment, which propels the Rangers into a position where it's tough to lose when you're up 6-0 early. Because, I mean, the Orioles have the firepower bats, but do they have the playoff experience and the postseason fight to put it away? Gunnar Henderson certainly does. As he wanted to come back, you can tell with that swing as he smokes one out into right field for an RBI knock to cut the lead to five. Is this the dagger? It's certainly not. As the Orioles, you can't really win with just Gunnar Henderson singles. You got to you got to honestly put the ball into the seats occasionally, but Henderson has been a star for them in the playoffs, and I think he is definitely ready for next year when I think the Orioles are going to be right back in the playoffs, and I think they're all building up. All these young guys are building up some great playoff experience. As you can see, he absolutely face-planted there. Up steps a new hitter in Josh Lau, and he absolutely kills it. 7-1. to one off of Kyle Gibson. Gibby's actually been great for them this year, but really I think they're just trying to get all their arms in because they want to see if they can shut him down, and they were not not able to as the lead is back up to six for the Rangers. Lau absolutely killed that baseball, just vaporized. Texas obviously leads the series 2-0 already. Best of five, need to win three, and he's making sure they get it done. As you can see, all the celebrations after that home run, the Rangers kind of know they have it locked up. Now the momentum's back going their way, and Bruce Bochy definitely hyped about it. And in comes Jose LeClerc for the final out, and he gets the punchy. Oh, boy, the Rangers are headed to the CS for the first time in a minute. Likely, I bet you they take on the Astros as the Astros go up 2-1, and they look unstoppable in an all Texas CS.